You got to go there. You can't make it up mm. as you go along. You can't figure it out like that. You got to you got to do what you're supposed to do and deliver. And that's what they did. They did everything they were supposed to do. They delivered. they great actors. You know what I mean? You're looking at three stars. That's right. Y'all want to know where the new Hollywood is coming from? Oh, my God. It's coming straight out of Compton. That's right. <laughs> yeah. That's real. That's real. You look at, seriously, you look at Jake LaMotta. Look at what De Niro did when he had to gain wow. weight and lose weight yeah. and do all that type of stuff. Yeah. These guys came in. Corey, what did you have to do? I mean, it was a lot, man. I mean, I don't, I don't take this, you know, this responsibility lightly, man. We had to, I had to learn how to DJ. I had to learn how to produce. You know what I mean? I come straight from just just acting, you know? So I had mm. to branch Broadway. into that world. And, yeah, I was on Broadway, too. No, nah, that's you know? murder in that Broadway, you know? though. <laughs> that's somebody proud of. You yeah. should be proud yeah. of that. Yeah. You know, it's two kind of Broadway, so. <laughs> yeah, yeah, that's right. It's the streets and it's the stage. Exactly. And I think he got them both. Yeah. That's what's up. You know yeah. what I mean? He got yeah. them both down packed. What, was for it sure. hard to say, who? Oh, yeah. Like, how many times you ever say that shit? You know, yeah, I, yeah. I know Dre, so it's easy for me. Exactly. Exactly. Did you have to meet? Dre to, to yeah, to, man. You know, I, I I met him very first time I met him. I was with Gary. You know, we all went out to wow. watch the playoffs. What did Dre say when he saw you? You know, he's diesel you know, now. You bad. You diesel. know, seriously, Dre yeah. is really quiet. But when he's excited about something, yeah. he gets really excited. So <laughs> right. when, when right. he when he right. when he met Corey, <laughs> all he could do is pass his iPhone around of Corey's audition what? to everybody in the room. He's like, just do rip it, just do rip it, just yeah. do rip it. He doesn't get excited. But when he met Corey, he was excited. He and was I, all, he almost like a fan before. Corey even did the movie. It was oh. great, man. I mean, and then from then on, he was just there every single day. Mm. You know, we talked about the moments, you know, going deep and, and just making sure that we lived up to the legacy. So they gave us all the tools we needed to mm. to to do, to execute, man, on a high level because we wasn't coming with no basic shit, no basic you know, stuff yeah, like shit. You know what I'm saying? Basic, 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 basic shit. Yeah, who cares? Show right, right, right. You got right. the dirtiest mouth in <laughs> fucking <laughs> in radio. You ain't got to worry about that up here. Oh, I just, yeah, I just ate some pussy, man. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, that's right, bro. I just yeah. ate some fucking ass. Man. That's right. That's tonight, uh, pass that man an out toy. <laughs> Coming straight out of ass. <laughs> Let's get out of there. Uh, what, yo, really do spit out an ass. <laughs> really do But 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 rumors has it, uh, Dre was like you. He he he, he put you in charge. I remember you used to come on my show. You you always brought up the NWA rumors about creating the movie. But Dre was like, you got to get Gary to get down, and you had to like force the issue to get it popping. Was it you? You're the catalyst, or or who who, who put it together before Dre signed off? Oh, you know, it's it's me, Gary. You know, we we recruited Dre. You know what I'm saying? Oh from shit! There because at first it was it was just me trying to uh, figure out. You know, I wasn't gonna do this movie if we didn't have the right director. Straight up, you know, it was like we was we had, you know, what is DefCon four uh, <laughs> meetings? Like where are we where do we jump off? As soon as they try to make this some bullshit, Dude. we out. That's right. Man. You know what I mean? So that's that's the scariest shit when you when you gotta do movies like this, you don't want this shit to be tacky. Like it'll be a wrap. We we was Over. like, yo, we it's better not to do it than to do it uh fucked up or do it wrong. Right. That's so real. so we was always like, yo, if they trip, we looking we for out. the exit. If we they out. don't do it how we need it done, we looking for the exit. They wanna make some Hollywood bullshit, See we ya. looking for the exit. Yeah. So you know, once Gary, you know, decided to do the movie and he turned down for, uh, Captain America to do this movie. What? And what you, what, what, what? I can't man, wait. We ain't, worry about, we ain't worried about motherfucking Captain America. Yeah. Let me tell you. <laughs> it's straight out of Compton. <laughs> it's straight out of Compton. That's right. And, and yeah. he came through and he said, yo, you know, we got to make a classic or we don't, we don't touch it. And. And from there, we recruited everybody from then on. You know what I mean? And, That's right. you know, shout out to everybody who who put in hard work to make keep this movie together. Because, like I said, we was ready to bounce at any moment. Remember, yeah, that's crazy. Remember all those meetings? We would they would make some crazy ass suggestion, and we look at each other like, oh fuck man, yeah, that, that, yeah. seriously, yeah, get right. the fuck out of <laughs> here with that crazy. bullshit. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I mean, you know what? Because I told him when I sat in the room at one of the meetings we had, and I said, you don't. I said you're gonna make money with the NWA. It's gonna open. You, mm. This movie will open. You don't need me for that. If you need a music video, you want to see low riders and bitches and braids. You're going to make money on that, but you don't need me to direct that. I want to direct what I think it is, which is history, hip-hop history, American history, and the story behind the story behind the story, which is the why. A brotherhood, too. That's right, and that's the heart. This movie has a lot of heart, 
and Cube saw it, and we got great creative chemistry from all the way dating back to Friday, and today was a good day. So we already knew what we wanted to make. We just had to show them what we wanted to make. And, you know, and they you was know. on board. You know what I mean? That's yeah. why I'm, I'm so thankful to uh, Universal Pictures, uh, Donna, Donna Langley. Langley. Donna. You know what I mean? They, 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 they give you, they give you, you I know uh, Scott <laughs> Scott Bernstein. Yeah. yeah, you know what I'm saying. Yeah. Everybody came through. It was a labor of love. We all knew it wasn't gonna be hard, and uh, we we got a dope movie. I can't wait till August 14th. Wait a minute, this it, shit was pretty hard though. Hold it, up. Yeah, it, it was hard. <laughs> no, 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 no doubt. <laughs> I'm, I'm, I'm talking about you know after after they you know what I'm saying figured out that they need to do it our way. Okay, you know that's right. That's after right, they figured that's out right. they need to listen to us. You know what I'm saying we. we uh, you know, it, it was a ball. I, w I wouldn't, have, I wouldn't have did it no other way because making the records was hard, That's making right. the movie was hard. Mm -hmm. It was controversy behind the records. It's controversy behind the movie, yeah. and the world is all right. How did, how did you balance the action in the movie? Because you, you've done an Italian job. You brought that element into the movie, like a, like you know, you got to make it serious, but. Man, Some come new. on! If you know L.A. in the '80s, mm. it's, it's it was raw. Very, it was raw. It was rough. <laughs> it was very easy to put action because we was living, uh, we was living what harsh, harshly yeah. to a certain extent in L.A. And so it was easy to put the battering ram in, which is like military weapons and with military vehicles and stuff like that. And you living on a run a lot of times, or you know somebody living on a run in L.A., especially back then with the gang sweeps and all types of stuff was going on. So it was easy to make action it was really important to find a heart though the brotherhood that's what i wanted to focus on the action mm. was easy my god and then of course uh playing all those uh historical moments in the nwa history like you know ice cube dissing the crew how, how was it to, <laughs> yeah. to, to play that role first uh, <laughs> <laughs> did, did you have to talk to your dad about how he dissed them or you you, you figured it oh, out i about? heard i've heard these stories uh, a lot. <laughs> you know I, I i was in there having fun you know that uh I've always been a little bit biased towards solo Ice Cube in my life. <laughs> but, you know, uh, uh, to go back and to reenact these, man, it's it crazy to see his face, to see Dre's face and, and, and the four of them, Dre, Ren, Yella, and my pops, watching us perform, you know, watching us get down and, and they rocking. They told us they never saw NWA perform. So it's, it's stuff like that that really boosts your confidence. Man, that's like... Ill right there. Yo, what the, that's, that's like, yeah. Yeah, it was like that, you know, it was like that, that, that Back to the Future movie. Yeah. And shit. I thought I was about to change history. I'm like, oh. yeah, right. <laughs> wear the same hat, nigga, so we don't disappear. <laughs> <laughs> We're gonna get to uh, fuck the police, and we'll be right back. Yeah. In your yeah. mouth. Phone lines are super hot. Eminem's channel, Shade 45. Of course, I got Ice Cube, the whole crew up here. You. And, of course, Gary Gray. Yeah, yeah. The, the, yo, yo, the, the, yo, the, yo. the legend money taker, ooh, ooh. of course. you know How much are y'all making off this shit, man? I'm this, making this, out of that, pockets, that, man. Why you in our pockets? Let's, let's get World Star real off. quick. <laughs> <laughs> okay. A zillion, for right, trillion, right. for fillion. <laughs> <laughs> they, uh, they, they, was it easy for them to give you all the resources to do the movie? Like you know, like, an, hey, Listen, it's never easy. It okay. is absolutely never easy to get exactly what you want. But I got to tell you, we're going to get give another shout out to Donald mm -hmm. Langley because she was the one that stepped up and made this movie like it was supposed to be made and then some. You know, people have their conception or whatever of what a, a, a urban or movie that stars black people should be and she stepped up and went beyond, had faith in us and it shows on the screen. People consider it an epic and um, maybe not every studio would have made it like that. You got uh you you got the you got Snoop in the movie yeah you got fucking uh you got fucking uh, Tupac Tupac D O C you got all the like Diggy Diggy Doc yo. <laughs> yes yo man what yo how was it the fucking because I you know uh your boy was up here Nipsey Hustle he really wanted to be Snoop man no yeah. he didn't yo he was bothering me about that shit man, man. come on what man. I, got, I got a story about that Nip is the homie go ahead Nip is the homie but you know. I'm not gonna even get into it. I gotta call Nip. He, if he came up here, he said he wanted to play Snoop. I called him. No, you did. I called it. I called Nip, but I'm gonna let him tell that story. All right. <laughs> no, you know what? I respected him. He said, "Listen, I think he said something like, listen, people are gonna think if I this is this is a couple of years ago.' He was like, people may think that I'm a fake Snoop." If I play Snoop before my album comes out, yeah, yeah. You know he, did, I mean? he did say that, but you yeah, know, that's, but, that's what but, he was but saying. back there somewhere. I he could have. He could have. I think he would have did. I mean, I think Keith Stansfield did a great job. I think that Nip is 
super, you know, he knows what it is. He just, he, he's he got integrity. He's like, listen, if I play Snoop Dogg in a movie before my album comes out, yeah. people going to say, oh, that's that actor that plays Snoop. Now he's trying to rap. Right. <laughs> I, I can respect that. Right. I, I can respect, respect that. that. Yeah, yeah. You know what I mean? Strategizing. Do, yeah. do, do you think Straight Outta Compton came out at the right time with all the police brutality, all the fucked up shit going on out there? People, these cops are killing everybody. Do you think that's at the right moment? or? I it, mean, you know, it's a constant. It don't stop. So if it had came out last year, it would have been on time. I mean, it we, came out the year before that we learned from dirty cops from watching like everything you guys done like i mean there were dirty yeah. cops in new york but damn la had the real dirty cops hey man yeah. it's rough la you know they <laughs> they you know was militarizing the police back in the 70s in la right, so right. you know i mean we know about them and we know how they get down but yeah this movie is uh you know, showing what's what's been going on, what we've been talking about, what hasn't stopped. You know, you know, it's like people think, oh, Rodney King, and then you know, fast forward to Trayvon Martin. Nah, no, it's it's everything in between. You know what I mean? And Eric Gardner and all that. It's it's so many other cases that we don't see. It's cases happening right now that somebody don't have a video camera, right. somebody yeah. don't have a mm -hmm. smartphone. You know, so it's a constant thing uh, with you know, police just, you know, showing their authority, abusing the people, and, you know, it got to stop. You know, we got to hold these dudes accountable. I got to tell you, I'm optimistic, though. I got to tell you, because we're all, of, I mean, the NWA did a great job with just picking up a pen and a pad and shining light on the problem. Now, with all this technology and all of the headlines and the news, People are really shining a light on it in ways that we've never seen before. So I think the pressure is going to be on our leaders. Pressure is going to be on leaders within law enforcement and also law enforcement. So if you had a propensity to actually do something wrong or use excessive force, you might think twice because you're going to be on CNN every night on video. So when they mm, introduce right. these dash cams and these body cams, I got. I'm optimistic that it's going to change. We can't help but change. If you're not a human, if you're a human being, you watch this shit. You can't help but just push for change or change yourself. Right. That's some real shit right there. Yeah. Speaking of other real shit, I hear Obama's going to see the movie when it comes out. Yeah. Well, yeah, yeah, yeah. Y'all not should. excited about that? He Obama should. keep it real all he the time. He said that? Man. Yeah, he said he's about he to should. check it out. Why, he why, why he had to wait for uh, Marco Rubio? He nah, said he didn't have to wait for nothing. <laughs> 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 the man busy. Marco Rubio ain't doing shit. <laughs> so, good point, good point. You know what I mean? The point. man got st I knew he was going to see it no matter what. He ain't had to tell me he was going to see it. I already knew. Yeah, and where are you gonna watch it text. at? In the White House? The we're gonna be at, at the, the Baldwin Hills Theater. Oh, we at the Canal. The Baldwin Hills Theater. Yeah. Jason, well, inform this man about movie? Easy E. Well, well, was, it, was it Heller? Was it Heller? Or I thought they were both together. Don't it's make it. me have to get real easy up in here, <laughs> homie. I'm telling you. I would get real easy up in here, homie. Yo. I would drop the New Orleans. <laughs> and I would get easy up in here, homie. For real. I got a fuck. I got a couple phone numbers I could call right now. <laughs> That's crazy right there. Nah, what? nah, 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 nah. But um, nah, but but they, 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 they did showcase all the like you know. Yeah, they showed yeah. dealing they showed with everything. Hella, they yeah. showed yeah, they, they got, showed everything. You got to understand this though. Listen, these guys were young. Mm. Q broke these songs when he was a teenager. Right. These guys started a record company as kids. So all of the dealings and the, all the the shit that went on with the record shit is really you know people. You know, after you experience Bad Boy and Death Row and Cash Money Records, you think that everybody knows how to run a record company. These yeah. guys, besides Barry Gordy, <laughs> yeah. Luke was Skywalker, and fucking, mm -hmm. they was learning how to do this, and they were kids. Right. So you know, shit got mixed up and twisted up, and of course, there's a couple of other people involved that kind of divided and conquered. And you know what happened? So I wouldn't call Easy a dirtbag. I said he was learning. Well, I, I don't mean it like a real dirtbag. I, I, I mean by reading it's all the. Fine, man. I don't mean it like that. Man. <laughs> Watch out, for that, watch out for that Easy E diss record. <laughs> oh, <it's coming. laughs> Don't get bodied by Easy. <laughs> you see all the ghostwriting stuff going on right these days, man. You you were the original uh, ghostwriter, man. You made these guys millions, man. Man, you know they made money. You know it was a, it was uh, some ghostwriting, but you know when it come to records, when it come to making records. Ghost riding has been since the beginning of time. Every record made damn near has somebody else writing it or or pinning it. So it ain't about how you make a record. Right. Now, if you want to call yourself a rapper, grab the mic and jump on the stage and and rip. You know what I mean? You you should probably write your own shit. You mm. know what I'm saying? You know what I mean? <laughs> you know it's like so. If you want to be an MC, you should write your own shit. If you want to make dope records. 
Make them by committee like you've been doing. Mm. Good point. It's fine. Man. Good point. Anything, it's fine. anything about that, Dr. Dre, before Hell you go? Yeah, man. You know, <laughs> Hell yeah. Hell yeah. Hell yeah. Hell yeah. Watch Hell out for comedy. Yeah, yeah man. <laughs> you got to you gotta write from what you know, man. And that's what they did back then. And that's what that's you know that's why this movie's relevant now, man. Because because hip hop's about reality. You know what I'm saying? Mm. And it's about it's about truth. It's about telling your truth. You know what I'm saying? You can't do that if. Somebody else doing You know what I'm saying Yeah you just gotta be honest With yourself And right. say you know Maybe this is not my calling <laughs> <laughs> You better get out of here man right. You know I got like 30 tickets to give away And I got two for my hoes So we're gonna have a good time <laughs> Damn You know what I'm saying Well damn You okay. down to two hoes man <laughs> You had about 20 Last time I was here About 50 points yeah, That divorce is fucking me up Hey man <laughs> <laughs> 12, It ain't nothing to cut these bitches off <laughs> Nobody in there. It Yo, ain't nothing man. to cut these bitches off. <laughs> <laughs> Straight out of Compton, man. That's what's up. We're going to fucking have a good time. Can't wait. On the 14th, it'll be out August everywhere. August 14th, take your family. And Spread the word. So they can take their real family. Go we'll watch it with Obama. <laughs> <laughs> I'm, I'm, I'm going to the White House. Man. Hey, man. You know tell them to invite us. Some yeah, text me, man. Because I heard he be throwing barbecue. I changed my number. Man. I heard he be throwing the football and having barbecues at the White House. Yeah, tell him head over selfies, DC. Catch it over there, man. <laughs> if you got a girlfriend, take your girlfriend. You got yeah. a wife on the side, take her too. Or two, yeah. or, or two bitches. Yeah. <laughs> Same time. We're out like of here. Like a Lou Will. In your mouth. <laughs>